friends welcome to my channel I'm Rachel and I got some hamsters and I'm here to tell you about what's working so far what I'm learning how my hamsters are doing hopefully you like hamsters or maybe you just like watching things about hamsters I don't know so today I'm gonna to be talking about this look at how cool it is it's really beautiful isn't it so clear one thing I noticed when I got a hamster, and this was kind of news to me, is that every hamster product is super ugly. Like almost everything is bright colored and plastic and like, ugh. So I had a lot of trouble finding the right products that I wanted for me in my apartment. I bounced around, I looked at Amazon, I looked on Poshmark, I looked at eBay, I tried to buy things secondhand if I can, but that's not always possible in the hamster world. So I did buy this from Amazon. And this is the Zacro acrylic silent, silent wheel. For my Robo, who is mm, like really small, like the size of a peanut butter cup, you know, he's a perfect size for this. He's nice and straight, it's really smooth, it's so quiet, I can't even tell when he's running on it. Literally, I cannot hear it. And I keep my hamsters in my bedroom because it's nice and quiet for them during the day, but then it sucks for me at night when they're making noise. So this is amazing. This makes no noise. The thing that I would say that is tricky about it is that it's really slick. So sometimes I watch him run on it and it feels like it's hard for him to get traction. I don't know if he's thinking in his little hamster mind, like, oh, this sucks, I hate this wheel. Or maybe he's thinking, this is amazing. I'm getting such a good workout. I don't know, but hopefully he loves it. I really want him to be happy, that's my number one concern, but I also want it to be aesthetically pleasing and quiet. And the quiet thing is really for me and for him, because I feel like it probably would annoy him too if it made noise. Uh, if you watch hamsters, their little ears like tick around a lot because they can hear everything. They're really good at hearing. And so I would imagine that a hamster wheel that squeaks a lot would drive them crazy, or it would drive me crazy if I were a hamster. So I'm assuming it drives him crazy. So I like to give him very nice and smooth wheels that look really satisfying to run in. So this one I got a couple months ago when he was just a, a wee little guy, maybe under two months old. He didn't do well on it then. It was a little too heavy for him. And when he did get running on it, he would like slide up and then fall right down to the bottom. And that kind of freaked me out. So I took it away. But recently I gave him a cage upgrade and I decided to bring back this wheel because it's so quiet and I thought you know we'll see maybe he's better at wheels now and he actually is doing really well at it I will probably be posting footage that you maybe are watching right now of him running super fast on this thing I have a, a nighttime night vision camera that I watch him with at night because I mean what else do people do right now so I watch my hamster at night during the day and uh, I watch him run on this for like five minutes straight he just runs and runs and runs and it looks really great but I do notice sometimes it looks like he has trouble getting his little feet to get traction. Um, so he is doing well on it now. I would say this is a great wheel for an active hamster who has some wheel experience. Maybe not a baby, you know, it might take some time for them to build up the muscle strength. But my little guy is super active. He runs all the time, he loves to dig. So this is a great option for him. I am getting another hamster wheel tomorrow from where am I getting it from? It's coming from Amazon, but I think it's Night Angel. It's very similar. It's a clear design, which I like, but it has a white backing, which I actually think Steven, my hamster, is gonna like because even though I love this, I feel like Steven feels a little bit exposed in it. And I can tell he spends a lot of time trying to hide under it, but then <laughs> he, I think he can tell that he's not really hiding and then it kind of freaks him out. So the white back is probably gonna be nice for him. Maybe it'll make him feel a little bit more secure. The other thing I'm looking forward to about that other wheel is that it has lots of little lines. So traction, traction, traction. So I think it might help. And I think it's plastic instead of a Acrylic, which I know is a type of plastic, but it's more lightweight. So I'm thinking he might like that better, a little bit less work to get it going. We'll see. The big reason that I ordered it is because my hamster, the first thing he does every day, he gets up 
at night and then he goes in here and then he promptly pees and then he runs in it all night long. So I have to wash this pretty much every night. It gets so gross. So I, and I, you know, I don't really want him using a dirty wheel every day. So the reason I bought two wheels is one, to give him a chance to try something else out. But the other reason is because I, it's annoying to have to clean them. And so at least if I have another one, I can just swap it out when I get home, wash it, let it dry, and not have to worry about having to get it right back in there. Because if he wakes up and there's not a wheel, he goes crazy. He's like, oh my God, where's my wheel? And then it, sometimes he does different things. Sometimes he's like running all around looking for it. Sometimes he just sits in the spot where the wheel is and looks really sad. Whatever it is, it's very hard to deal with. And you know, I got a busy job, so I don't want to keep him from a wheel if I'm washing it. So. I'm gonna get two, at least two, and give them a try, see which one he likes better, and then I'll let you guys know, and then maybe I'll buy a second of that one so I can just keep him on a constant rotation, and he always has a wheel, and everybody is happy. So that is my review for this wheel. In summary, I think maybe I didn't summarize well. I think it's a great wheel, super quiet, if quiet is a concern of yours, really smooth. It looks so satisfying to watch him run on. I would say it's probably good for a robo or dwarf, but um, a dwarf, but maybe not a Syrian. I don't know, it depends how big your Syrian is, but it, this isn't huge. I mean, a Syrian is gonna be at least this big, so uh, I feel like it'd be on the small size for a Syrian. Really, probably you need like a 10 to 12, 10 inch? I don't know, I don't have Syrians, but I think that they probably need a bigger wheel, in my opinion. All right, well, thank you for joining me today on this very official review of the Zafro Silent Acrylic Wheel 8.7 inches boom. And uh, if you have any questions, thoughts, please leave them. And I would love, 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 love to hear from you. Okay. Bye.